everyone, I'm Susan here for our next Tuesday Shelf Talk. Today I'll be talking about Persuasion by Jane Austen, reviewed by one of our book club members. This is an historical romance and we hold copies in regular print and also as an e-book through RB Digital. The novel is set in 19th century England. Uh, Anne Elliot is the middle daughter of Sir Walter and the late Lady Elliot. Uh, when she was 19 years old, Anne had been courted by naval captain Frederick Wentworth. They were mutually in love. Despite this, uh, on the advice of her trusted godmother, Lady Russell, and out of duty to her family, Anne refused Frederick's marriage proposal. Seven years later, their paths cross again. The main thing here is that the development of one's character is the true purpose of life. A secondary implication uh, is that worldly comfort and success will follow those who make life choices true to their inner values. Jane Austen showed the results of choices made by family and community members as well as those by Anne and Frederick. Our reviewer found the writing style a challenge. Um, the sentences and paragraphs are long and the style is very formal. Um, she thinks that the best strategy for her was to read these out loud to herself um, and once she had mastered the language she found that Jane Austen's observations of her characters were dry, witty and really laugh out loud funny. Um, it was then easy to imagine these people as contemporaries. The plot is true to the romance genre and the ending she found very pleasing. Uh, once our book club member had mastered that writing style, she enjoyed everything about this book. Um, as it was historical, it gave a picture of everyday life in that century and a sense of the limited choices available to the women in the uh, landed gentry class of that time. Uh, key romance characteristics evident in this novel were uh, the unexpected circumstances around Anne and Frederick's second meeting, a mismatch um, in status and social standing between the two, misunderstanding as to other suitors for Anne's hand, and Frederick's intentions towards another woman in marriage. There is a satisfactory resolution in the last pages. So if you enjoy reading literary classics, um, like others by Jane Austen, or those from the Brontes or Dickens, or perhaps more modern authors such as Georgette Heyer, um, you might enjoy this one too. So it's Persuasion by Jane Austen. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again next week for another Tuesday Shelf Talk. Bye.